Sandy with the stars of Sharp Objects premiering July 8th on uh, HBO, Elizabeth Perkins and Patty Clarkson. <laughs> Find the bar, you guys. Movie of the summer is Won't You Be My Neighbor. It's a documentary about Fred Rogers. It's in select theaters now. Nicholas Ma is one of the producers. Go through it. Please go through it. Um, what were you most surprised? What do you think people will be most surprised by when they see the film? I think the fact that his gentleness was actually a source of strength and not of weakness. I think uh -huh. today we think gentleness, vulnerability, that's weakness. But he proved that that endures. And I think it hits you hard. Yeah. We could use a little Fred Rogers today in our world. Yeah. Need a little Fred um, what do you got over there? We have a couple gifts. I hope. I think all of us brought offerings today. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I love an offering. Oh, my God. I love this. These I saw Fred this Rogers backstage. Look at this t shirt. That's a, oh, my God. It's a, it's a classic cardigan, cardigan t shirt. One for you. So incredible. Oh, my God. Isn't it great? Oh my god. Oh, one for god. You. oh my god, I love it. I'm gonna wear this on my next talk show. It's so oh good. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. These are yummy. Thanks, dude. I love These it. Yummy. Thank you. Thank you um, so much. And Patty brought me an offering. Okay, too. so she... on the, at the we just had our premiere last night in Los Angeles. Yeah. And on the table of every do you have a round table in your in your house? I do, yeah. I think you could put this house. on top of it. Okay. These weren't all the tables at the premiere. Oh my God! I that's, that's me. That's me as Adora in the show. Oh my God! I love it. Oh, here, um, this is actually going to go somewhere around here. Um, absolutely. I thought you had like a big joint rolled up. In oh your no! Very that would be Elizabeth. But this that is me. It's in my dress. Weeds. Um, let's go back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? So. Hey, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, what's your question? Well, from one Elizabeth to another, I wanted to know, what was it like working with Elizabeth Taylor on the Flintstones movie, and did she wear white diamonds? Um, oh. She did wear white diamonds, and she insisted on everything being violet, and one day she brought Michael Jackson to the set, and that, and I had my picture taken with the two of them, and I was wow. way in over my head wow. with, like, fan freak out. Was that, were you in both Flintstones? No. The second Flintstones was us younger. Yes. yes. It's I Hollywood. was like 30. Well, by the way, they were like, um, younger. also the first Flintsto Flintstones was a hit. In the uh, yeah, well, there was um, that. Back to the that. phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, Andy. It's Betsy from Phoenix. Hey, Betsy. What's your question? Uh, my question's for Elizabeth, and it's uh, what is your honest reaction to the series finale of Weeds? And do you wish that you'd made one more appearance before it, uh, it ended? <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I wish I had made one more appearance before it ended because Celia kind of just fell off the face of the earth. They didn't really write her off the show. She just sort of... Disappeared. Just disappeared. Yeah, it would have been nice if they'd given her a wrap-up. Did yeah. you, uh, did you, what did you think of the finale? Um, I didn't see it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Last call, call her. What's your name and where are you calling? Talk about playing the fifth. I know. Hey. Hi, my name's Patty. Hey, and Patty. I'm calling from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Hey, Patty, what's your question? My question is for Patricia. But, Andy, I have to tell you, I saw you and Anderson in Chicago. You yeah. were great. Thank Absolutely you so great. much. Oh, Love I so Anderson. appreciate it. We're, uh, we, listen, we're in Vegas in October and Philly and D.C. and Los Angeles in December. Uh, and uh, some more that I can't remember, but goes to ac2live.com for more tour dates. I appreciate you coming. That was a great night in, uh, at the Chicago Theater. What's your question yeah. for Patty? Um, my question is, what was the most intimidating part of working on the Deadpool with Clint Eastwood? I'll tell you a quick story. I, Clint casts you off tape. You don't meet him. So the first time I met him, I was in San Francisco at a table in a restaurant with the DP, the producer, and I hear screams, women screaming, screaming, screaming behind me, and I turn around, and in walks Clint Eastwood through the front door of the restaurant and came all the way through the restaurant with women literally, like, throwing th their underwear at him. Wow. And, wow. And, and, I, and he stood above me as I sat on the chair in the restaurant, and he goes, ah. Uh, I'm Clint. 
<laughs> That's awesome. That's and I was awesome. like, I'm tired. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, is is that really happened? <laughs> um, is JT's dick? Thick? Oh God! <laughs> I didn't. I just looked okay. at it briefly. All right. Okay. Okay. You know. I, 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 oh my I God! Mean, I, I, I know his mother. Minutes. Oh my God! That's fine. No. She'll be thrilled. Oh my I want to thank the stars of Sharp Objects on HBO. Everybody watch it. Patty and Elizabeth, go see the incredible Fred Rogers documentary. I'll see you in my neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.